Hi, I'm Theodore Roosevelt Howard Mason. I'd like you to know a little bit about my life. I was born on March 4, 1908, in Murray, Kentucky. My parents were Arthur and Mary Howard. Later adopted the name Mason in honor of Will Mason, my childhood mentor and a prominent local white doctor and member of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. I attended three Seventh-day Adventist colleges, Oakwood College in Huntsville, Alabama, from which I graduated in 1927, Union College in Lincoln, Nebraska, where I received a Bachelor of Science degree in 1931, and the College of Medical Evangelists in Loma Linda, California, from which I received Doctor of Medicine degree in 1936. While at Union College, I was an active member of the American Anti-Saloon League and won the league's national contest for best order in 1930. During my years in medical school in California, I took part in civil rights and political causes and wrote a regular column for the California Eagle, then the primary black newspaper of Los Angeles. I married Helen Boyd in 1935 in California and remained married for 41 years. I had an adopted son, Barrett Boyd, and fathered several children not included in my marriage. Throughout my medical career, I served as Associate Professor of Clinical Medicine and Surgery at Meharry Medical School, Medical Director of the Riverside Sanitarium and Hospital in Nashville, Tennessee. I also served as Chief Surgeon at the Taborian Hospital in Mound Bayou, Mississippi, and at the Friendship Clinic and Hospital in Mound Bayou. In 1957, I was elected President of the National Medical Association, the highest office any black physician could hold at that time. I was a member of the Cook County Association of Physicians and Surgeons. I served as President of the Mississippi Medical and Dental Association, and as Medical Director of S. B. Fuller Products Company. I also founded the Howard Medical Center in 1956 and the Friendship Medical Center on the south side of Chicago in 1972. As a doctor, I also became well known as a leading abortion provider and was arrested in 1964 and 1965 but I never was convicted. I regarded this work as part of my civil rights activism. In Mound Bayou, Mississippi, I was the proud owner of Magnolia Mutual Life Insurance Company, where I hired Medgar Evers, Merely Evers, and my friend Herman Johnson. I hired Herman right out of college as he replaced Medgar at my insurance company. The RCNL organized yearly rallies in Mound Bayou for civil rights. Sometimes as many as 10,000 people attended, including such future activists as Fannie Lou Hamer and Amzie Moore. Speakers included Rep. William L. Dawson of Chicago, Alderman Archibald J. Carey Jr. of Chicago, Rep. Charles Diggs of Michigan, and NAACP attorney Thurgood Marshall. One of the entertainers was Mahalia Jackson. In 1954, I hatched a plan to fight a credit squeeze by the White Citizens' Councils against civil rights activists in Mississippi. At his suggestion, the NAACP under Roy Wilkins encouraged businesses, churches, and voluntary associations to transfer their accounts to the black-owned Tri-State Bank of Memphis. In turn, the bank made funds available for loans to victims of the economic squeeze in Mississippi. As a civil rights leader, I founded the Regional Council of Negro Leadership, RCNL, in 1951. My compatriots in the council included Medgar Evers, the Magnolia Mutual Life Insurance Company and Aaron Henry. The RCNL mounted a successful boycott against service stations that denied the use of restrooms to blacks and organized yearly rallies in Mound Bayou for civil rights. Following the brutal murder of Emmett Till, I became heavily involved in the search for evidence and gave over my home to be a command center for witnesses and journalists. I gave dozens of speeches around the country, talking about Till's murder and other examples of racial violence in Mississippi. In 1956 during a Ku Klux Klan reign of terror in Mississippi, I was forced to leave the state. I subsequently settled in Chicago. My heart was still in Mound Bayou. I passed away after many years of deteriorating health, and died on May 1, 1976. Here's an interesting story about me. In 1958 I ran for U.S. Congress as a Republican against powerful incumbent Chicago Democrat William Levi Dawson, an African-American and close ally of Chicago Mayor Richard J. Daley. Although I received much favorable media publicity and the support of black leaders opposed to the Daley administration, Dawson overwhelmed me at the polls. I was unable to counter either Dawson's efficient political organization or rising black voter discontent with President Dwight D. Eisenhower's civil rights record. My other accomplishments included helping found the Chicago League of Negro Voters and Operation Push, the first vice president of the Tri-State Bank in Memphis, Tennessee, a member of the board of directors of Universal Life Insurance Company of Memphis, I was chairman of the board of directors of the National Business League for five years and a member of the board of directors of the Cosmopolitan Chicago Chamber of Commerce. I also served on the board of trustees of Tougaloo College and Natchez College in Mississippi. 
I loved being a mover and a shaker in the great all-black community of Mound Bayou, but because of the heat of racism in the South, I had to sacrifice my citizenship in Mississippi to preserve my life. My heart has always been in Mound Bayou. May God bless Mound Bayou, Mississippi.